Shout out to our DJ Tony Escobar, Jesus Loke. Shout out oh, to uh, Kaluna. Shout out to uh, Kaluna five four three two one. Free little Bing. Uh, mm -hmm. Man, I got this song with Bing, man. <laughs> Shout out to Dream Big, Big C, Texas. Dream Big, get that bread. Yeah, yeah. Y'all go ahead and like it one time, share it one time. We're going to wait for some more people to tune in. Um, those that ain't subscribed yet, subscribe to my channel. The hot seat on YouTube, the hot seat 713 to be exact. If you, if, if you don't follow Filetto yet, go ahead and follow him. Yeah, I got my Instagram on there. I don't even know. What's the Instagram? Filetto HTX De Niro. Yeah. I need to make me an uh, advertisement, one of my little things. They said a uh, song name with Bing, please. The name of the song? Uh, if I ever get out of here, maybe that might be it. Do you think he's gonna get out? How long did he get? How how long did he really get? Uh, I think it might be um life with no parole. If I could be wrong, real, I could be wrong. No way. So he's not ever gonna get out then, huh? You know what? I can look it up on the computer right now. That's crazy. Yeah, you know that 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 is probably the one of the biggest hurts of the Latin Mex Mexican rap game is when Bean got locked up because he would have switched the game up. So, so what exactly did he do? I know, like he murdered somebody, but like, what was the situation? Was it like some some gang some gang? Was it some dope dealing shit? What was it? Honestly, be honest with you, I don't know. I don't know. I never looked into it. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of my homeboys, when the goes down, I don't really be caring about the details. You know what I'm saying? I'm just not that type of person to be. Yeah, no, I mean, but, you know, some people want to know. So, you know, that's why I'm asking. You You might, you might, you know, you, you, you might know. So I'm just asking, you know, somebody that might. I don't. I really don't know. I really don't know. I really don't. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know when you're young, you do stupid stuff, but I'm just trying to figure out what really happened to him. You know, I mean, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. Well, I get what you're saying, but I just, the way I am, I never pay attention to the details of, like, if if I had an issue with, with somebody, I just, I'm just crazy like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, like like the low situation, all the shit with SPM. I never went back and, and researched, and I don't care about all that. You know what I'm saying? I just don't. It's none of my business. You know what I'm saying? I just ain't got time. I'm just weird like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't know what happened. I really don't know. Mm -hmm. I really don't know honestly. Somebody yeah. said some beef. It was some beef. Somebody right here says it was beef. They say he was talented. He got life. Shout out a real. When yeah, you're... all I know is, man, that we were working on some shit and he was already getting on the radio. He would have been like like a Mexican Tupac. You know what I'm saying? Fucking. And, and was... in what way do you think? As a rapper, he was going to be super big. Yeah. Maybe even bigger than SPM. He probably would have been it was like some Pac Biggie type, but on some Latin Mexican, you know what I'm saying? Los is kind of more like a Biggie type, and and Bing was more like a Pac type. Mm. Bing just never got a chance to to really blow up, like like uh, like kind of like really Los didn't really either. Neither one of them really got a chance to to benefit off of the talent. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Bing. Bing was just, we were just barely getting Bing on the radio with that house party song, you know what I'm saying? That, uh, the man remix. Yeah. You know, and, and we were working on getting Bing more, uh, commercial, I guess you could say, type of songs so we could make more money. You really can't make money on songs where you just, just some gangster, shit, you know what I'm saying? We're trying to make some radio shit so we can make some, some big money. And so we started getting on the radio, but 
when he got locked up, you know, sh- that was it. Somebody um, said he had the he had the whole world on Latin lockdown. Is that was that like an album or something? Nah, he just had the game on lock, man. Right. He had that he had that magic. He had that studio magic. He had that voice. He had that attitude, that real shit. It wasn't nothing fake. You know what I'm saying? Some people don't have that magic. You know, when you when you go in the studio. Some people are suck. Some people suck. Some people are okay. You know, some some people are dope. But then you got that magic who just got that magic. He's one of the magic when they step in the booth, it's just magic. You know, Ronnie Spencer is one of the magicians. Uh, Los is one of them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, K Reno is another one. When every time they go in the booth, it's just some other crazy, some dope shit, You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm going to look it up right here, man, and see what it says on the TDC, man. I'm on the website right here checking this shit out. Uh, uh, let me see. Somebody says, tell us some good history about Bean. Share something that nobody else has ever said yet. You know, because I know a lot of people ask got the same stuff, you know, and some of the same stories get circled around. So give us something fresh on the hot seat, man. <clears throat> well, I mean, I guess when we first, when, we, when Bing first started coming around, he was real young. He was a kid when we were most hated. And there was times when he would get on stage with us. Yeah. And he was just a kid. He was just a kid, man, maybe, well, I don't know, 12 years old or something. You know what I'm saying? So I remember we, we were at Jam Down. I had, we were signed with Jam Down Records when we were uh, aggravated and, and uh, I mean, most hated. We were at Jam Down and Bing started coming around and freestyling on the mic. You know what I'm saying? This was probably around 98. You know what I'm saying? And then, uh, I mean, it's really not no story because everything, the way I, it's all about making records with me. The way my mind is, like, it's all about. The, the, so what what the, records? So at that time you were producing. Yeah, yeah. Because I was at Jam Down. Who's already had like uh, probably already after the most hated album, probably like ninety eight, probably like two most hated albums already. And Bean was coming around in the studio and freestyling and and uh, he had that voice. You know what I'm saying? And, and he was always like on some gangster shit. What song did you produce for him back then? Uh well maybe the first one might have been like uh what's that I don't even know the names of them, man to be honest with you like I really don't seven one three we had seven one three stunners yeah in ninety nine we had a group called seven one three stunners and we did uh a few songs off of that one and that was off his cousin uh, Rich's label is there is there any uh trail of that online like any music on YouTube any of the old stuff seven one three stunners yeah, I think so. Maybe a little bit. But the first song that we really, really did was maybe like Southside Mexican. It was kind of like a Mexican remix with uh, Ike Man and and uh, and Bing, 713 Stunners. Happy P had made the track. We gave him the idea we were doing Southside, but we got love for the Northwest and East Side. It was a oh, Mexican song. I remember that one. You produced that one? No, Happy did. Okay. But that was on the albums that shut them down that we were working on. You know, we we always got outside producers that came in with us. 